Hi there, it's Andres from Motivate, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple car seat. All right, open up a new window and click Basic, and under the shelf, scroll over to Motivate, and you'll see Reference Pictures. Open this up. We'll also need, under VR tab, the Windows Desktop. Click Create New, and a dialog box will pop up where you can scroll to your images on the desktop. I'll turn down the opacity and click Lock so I don't accidentally move the image later. I'll do the same process again for my other image, and I'll click the other axis that I want it on. In this case, it's the Z axis. Once again, I'll turn the opacity down, and when I'm happy with the result, I'll click Lock. Because this is VR, I can move the reference image exactly the way I want it. I'm going to put it slightly diagonal. Once I'm happy with the position, once again, I will lock it. I'll close these extra windows, and let's get started modeling from a simple cube. I find the Omni tool, which is the most useful tool because it allows me to scale, rotate, and move all in the same tool. I can use the arrows to move, the boxes to scale, and the rings to rotate. I block out the rough shape of the back of the car seat. I'll go ahead and align the, the top and bottom faces to the correct angle. Then I'll extrude. I just click this purple ball and pull the arrow up. If I need precise movement, I can hold down the Alt key on the left controller. Once again, extrude, click the purple ball, and pull it up. I can also easily scale it right from the extrude tool. I'll go ahead and add an edge loop here so I can pull out the headrest portion. Scale it down and pull it forward. Rotate it a bit. Once again, I can hold down Alt to precisely rotate it. And now time to pull out the rest of the car seat. This floating yellow ball toggles the Keep Faces Together option. In this case, I want it on. I adjust the rough shape before adding some edge loops so I can get some better geometry. Using the Omni tool, you can move objects according to each axis, or you can place them freely using the black circle in the middle of the controller.
I'm going to remove the faces from the inside of the car seat. You can use Extend Selection to Face Latitude and then Delete. This is because I'm going to duplicate the half of the car seat later, and I don't want internal faces. Once I'm happy with the basic shape of this back of the car seat, I'll extrude out the bottom to make the bottom of the car seat. Now that I've got the cushion area, I'll add some edge loops and extrude out the side of the seat. Using these white guidelines, I can see where on the reference image the object I'm moving is. Once I'm happy with the general shape, I'll create a subdivide proxy so that I can see what the same object will look like with more smoothing and subdivisions. This proxy will continue being modified as I work on the original low poly mesh allowing me to easily get a feel of what it will look like in the end. Now I'm just going to extrude out some cushions on each part of the seat.
Because I extruded, I ended up creating faces on the inside of the car seat once again, so I'll go ahead and delete those. I'll add some holding edges to the headrest. You can do this many other places as well to keep more of the shape of the original mesh without losing too much volume after subdividing. Now I'm ready to duplicate my mesh. I activate the Edit Pivot setting and holding Alt on my left controller, I click on a vertex that's right at the middle. Now I turn on Snapping to Maya Center and bring it right up to the axis. Now I click the wrench icon above Duplicate Special. I make sure that Scale is set to minus one in the first column, and then click Duplicate Special. <clears throat> I select both of the meshes, and now I need to combine them. Because of some of the extrusions on the cushions, we have some vertexes which are not perfectly aligned. I'll select them and merge them. And I'll repeat this process for each of the vertexes that are slightly separated. You'll notice that even where it appears to be one vertex, there's actually two. But in order to fix this, I don't need to do it manually. There's an easier way to do this. I simply click the wrench in Merge and increase the threshold a little bit, slightly more than zero. If you do zero, it doesn't quite work. As you can see here. So I increase it slightly above zero, about 0.1 usually does the trick. But it depends on your mesh and how many vertices are close to each other. Now, as you can see, our mesh is fully combined and there are no duplicate vertices. I'll delete my old subdivide proxy and create a new one. Any feature you like, from Maya can be activated through the hotbox button on your left controller. There we go, we have a very simple car seat. I hope you guys like this tutorial. See you next time.